So we're not gonna waste your time and we're just gonna get straight into it, all right? First things first, obviously open up After Effects. We're going to select a file and the file I'm going to select is this one. Just a video of me outside screwing around. We're gonna go to this frame when I take off my glasses. Okay, let's start. Right here, Roto Brush Tool. This is what we're gonna be using. So click on it, left click. Now we're going to actually double click. So now we're in the Layer tab. So Layer tab, Composition, this is what we're working on. We're going to left click and drag for a vague outline of me. And as you can see already, the AI did an excellent job. That took like two seconds instead of just going around manually and then frame by frame, every little frame that I move, just adjusting it. Now we have this, but it's not perfect because AI is not perfect. So we're going to go in and this is not my hair, obviously. So what we're going to want to do is hold down alt to get this little minus button instead of the plus, And now it's gone. We're going to add in. The, oh, no. Minus again. I'm going to go around and correct whatever the AI didn't do right. Did a bad job on my ears. So we're just going to be on the plus and move it around my ear. Left click. Now alt left click. Just trying to perfect it. Go around alt. We don't want that. Don't want this either. So once you have something that you're happy with, that looks pretty good. So now what we're going to want to do is go over here and click on this freeze button. So this is going to make sure that the roto doesn't move around in any places that we don't want it to. So click freeze and this process is going to take a while. And now once you're done, as you can see, the AI did a pretty freaking good job of keeping it all consistent and not be moving around like crazy. That process took less than five minutes instead of five hours going around frame by frame. So thank you, Adobe. Next thing we're going to want to do is actually we should have made this quality on best, but nah, who cares? Standard works just fine for what we're doing. And for this hair here, hair it has always been tricky to roto out. But thankfully, this program does a pretty good job when it comes to hair. So hold down the roto brush. Uh, icon up here, click refine edge tool, and then you can just, I can't do it now, I'll have to unfreeze it. But, uh, and yeah, you'll want to unfreeze it if you see any mistakes um, that you want to correct. But then you can just go around and then refreeze it, and then it'll do a better job on the hair. So now we can put something behind me. So let's import, what does it like an explosion? So now I imported my explosion. I'm going to copy and paste uh, my video here of me. Let's go over to the effect controls. And I'm just going to delete the roto brush effect on the one on the bottom. And now we're going to go back to project we're going to sandwich this explosion in between both of them. So let me show you. If I take the eyeballs off, what's up top here is what's in front. So it's just me, what we wrote it out. If I get rid of this, this is on the bottom. So this is like the background and stuff. And obviously this is this explosion here. This explosion here is in the middle. We put it all together, boom an explosion in the back. We can move our explosion anywhere we want. So obviously you're going to need to track an object in the distance or just track the whole scene in, as like a 3D scene in general if you want this explosion to, to actually stay in place. But for what we want, that's pretty good. Now as you can see, there are some very rough edges around here and to fix that what we can do is go back to effects we can play with the feather here so now it's more pixely now it's less pixely so I'm just gonna change the feather and make it less pixely there are other stuff you could do you can play with this 
So I just played with the contrast shift edge. You can do that if there's if it's shown something you don't want to want it to be shown. Reduce chatter. Might as well not mess with that. That looks pretty good. We really don't need to mess with that anymore. And for this hair here, like I said before, if you want to do hair right, we're gonna use the refine edge tool. All right, AI used as tools, not taking our jobs. It does a pretty darn good job of being used as tools. 